Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Marlon Chamel, and today we're gonna go over one of my favorite variations of a bicep curl. It's called the Zotman Curl. It's a combination of a supinated and a hammer curl. And I'm gonna go over a few different tips uh, as far as breathing, um, some do's and don'ts, and a couple other variations and cues. And at the end of it, I actually have a free guide if you're trying to grow some big arms. All right, so there are many, many different curls variations that you can do. You have a regular supinated curl, which is palms up. You have your reverse curl, palms down or pronated. And you have your neutral, which is more of a hammer curl. Today, we're gonna combine some of those, and it's called the Zotman curl. Now, what you do with a Zotman curl, you're gonna come up with the supinated grip, and you're gonna twist your wrist, keep your elbows into your side, and coming down. The reason why you wanna do that is we're not just targeting one side of the bicep. Bicep means two. We're actually gonna go uh, integrating more of the short head of the bicep, twisting, and now we're incorporating the long head and the brachialis coming down. Now, you can't just bang these out like you would do, you know, your traditional curls. Not breathing, bad posture, going through it fast. You're gonna slow these down, more of a tempo, coming up two to three seconds, pausing, twisting, coming down two to three seconds. So, let me demonstrate for you real quick. Grab a pair of dumbbells that you normally curl for about 15 reps. We're gonna only shoot for eight to 12. Again, elbows jammed right into your side, coming up, twist, and then down. Elbow position, you wanna come up about three quarters way, twist, come right back down, keep your back straight, chest is upright. You don't wanna slouch down like this. So, breathe and brace, twist, and down. When you're coming down, another variation I like to tell people to do is extend the elbow away from you. That's gonna keep maximal tension on the bicep and not let you get lazy and let your elbow slide back. So we're here, twist and extend. Now, even in the bottom position, you actually wanna flex your tricep. At the bottom, Hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, drop a comment in the comment section. We have hundreds of videos and free tutorials that you can, uh, that you can use. Again, we have a how to grow big arms guide. It's gonna be in the description. Make sure you click the link and claim your guide. See you next time. Thanks for tuning in.